Hey everyone, so you've just finished viewing Aventura, the newest Universal Orlando hotel. We decided to go down for the day and check it out. It was the day after it opened to the public, actually. Mm -hmm. uh, we didn't stay there, but we just wanted to go and check out what the general public could see, give you guys an idea of what it's like, and kind of just give you a quick tour. So hopefully the video did that. Now, what we do want to mention right off the top is you probably noticed, if you know anything about the hotel, it's all about the views. That's what they're promoting. Views of the park, views of the city. Because we weren't hotel guests, their elevators actually work based off your room key. Mm -hmm. So if you want to go anywhere in the elevator, you have to have a room key. Now, you, I don't know if we're going to include this in the video, but if you saw it, the gentleman actually came on who worked there. He tapped his card, and we were able to go up to the 16th floor, and that's where we kind of showed you what the hallways yeah. and rooms looked like. Otherwise, though, we weren't able to move those elevators at all. And to me, that's a that could be good or bad. Yeah. If you value safety and security, I've seen some reviews where people really like that feature because they knew not anyone could just come up there. Personally, as someone who worked in a Disney hotel for over, almost five years, mm -hmm. I, I don't like that because I've seen how many people walk right out with their without their room key. And then yeah. you go down to the lobby <laughs> to go get your snack or whatever from the store, and guess what? Now, you now of course, they'll, they'll help you sure. get up there, yeah. but it's just that hassle. So I'm, I'm personally not sure how I would feel about that. I kind of just rather would walk on and hit the button and let's go instead of having to take your room key out and then right. touch the thing and all that. But that kind of does play into the overall feel of this hotel, which I think I would say is modern. Modern tech. Yeah. Fresh, clean. It, um, it's completely different than going across the street to Cabana Bay, which is all retro and vintage and everything like that. This is the other side of the spectrum. This is modern. Um, it definitely seems like it's appealing to um, the business crowd. This definitely didn't have the feel of family resort yeah i don't think kids would particularly like this place and, and that's not to say that it's bad it's just that like most things there's offerings for everyone yeah and i i don't think that this is what this hotel is catered to and, and to universal's credit they never advertised it as such no. they've kind of made it known that it's more towards that business end of the spectrum quick in and out and now i will say this is one of the cheaper options they have uh universal is considering this one of their prime value rooms Mm -hmm. So it's been paired together with Cabana Bay Beach Resort that she mentioned earlier. Mm -hmm. This is the level, the lowest level. The next one up is their preferred, which is Sapphire Falls and Royal Pacific. And then, of course, they have their premier, which is the Hard Rock Hotel and the Portofino Bay. So right. these are the lowest options. Uh, Cabana Bay tends to run cheaper than Aventura will. So right. just keep that in mind. So, yeah, you're talking... Bottom floor pricing is Cabana Bay, Aventura is next, then Sapphire Falls. Everything else beyond that. But some things that I really liked about it, um, I thought the food area was really great. They had a lot of really cool options. They had um, this kind of like sushi, like make your own wok bowl kind of. Well, not make your own. You're not going to cook it. But, I mean, build your own and they cook it for yeah, you. Yeah, made to order. Yeah, made to order. And um, so that's kind of different. You don't see that everywhere. And, but then right next door they had where you could get an Angus burger. And then right next door they had where you can get um, these flatbread kind of pizzas. And, and then they had, like, gelato and Italian ice and um, just a lot of food options. And... It seems like they're really trying to cater to people who are staying here. Yeah, and uh, the other thing is, kind of the problem we ran into was when we decided to go there, of course, we're somewhat local. We don't live in Orlando, but we drive because mm -hmm. we're Florida residents. And the parking was astronomical. Now, to be fair, this is resort-wide. All of their hotels have this, but it was $45 to park yeah. for if you were going to be there for like an hour even. If you're not a resort guest, mm -hmm. if you're a resort guest, I think it's 12, 12 a night? 12, yeah. We'll get that confirmed. But it's definitely not 45 if you're staying there. But as someone who wanted to just visit, if you want to come check out these things and go to this rooftop bar and check out these amazing views, it's not going to be easy for you. You're not Unless you want to pay $45. Yeah. And the other thing is, is that at Cabana Bay, 
that like I said, that's the pricing resort wide, but their self or not their self, their check in parking, their self parking for check in is a lot bigger. There's a lot more spaces yeah. that you can do that. Mm -hmm. And this was just like one tiny section that was packed. It was clear that people were parked there who weren't checking in and who weren't it was ahead yeah. of twenty minute limit on it. Yeah. And it was clear that because we were there for almost an hour and it was still packed when we left. Yeah. So that's just kind of the thing. It's not I don't know how easy this place is gonna be to visit. I think it was so surprising, like the parking and the things that we said about the elevator. I think it was so surprising because they've been kind of talking up this um, this restaurant that's on the top floor, which is called... Beast, Bistro 17? Yes. I think so. And It's the rooftop bar. Yes. And they've been really advertising this because of the views. So we were... We were excited to see what the view was really going to be like. And unfortunately, we went too early in the day. Apparently, it doesn't open until 4 p.m. And you cannot even enter. You can't even go up to that floor until 4 p.m. The, the elevator blocks you off. But anyway, so you would think that um, because they're advertising this restaurant so much that the parking wouldn't be so crazy expensive. Because what we ended up doing, we ended up parking in the main parking garage, and then um, we ended up walking over, and then we used the shuttle bus to get back and everything. But just kind of um, a lot of rigmarole, just if you wanted to go to the restaurant or something like yeah, that. Yeah, unless you're willing to spend the bucks. Now, maybe if you're local, you know, you could Uber or something like that. Yeah. And that might be cheaper than, than trying to do this. Now, I will say it should bear mentioning she mentioned the parking garage, of course, the main garage where you park to go into Universal Studios or Islands of Adventure or Volcano Bay. Right. Aventura has its own parking garage. So that actually is a nice feature. If you're staying on site, you're not going to have to pay as much to park there and you are in a covered garage, which anyone who lives in Florida will tell you that's phenomenal almost year round yeah. because your car won't be a million degrees when you go to leave. And I think people enjoy the added, you know, safety and security sure. the garage is attached right there into the main lobby so it's easy to get to you have to walk in the rain yeah so yeah. that's nice but i would say that was probably our biggest takeaway right off the bat is just, i don't know how easy this is going to be for you just to visit and i don't know how much universal wants you to visit this yeah i um i don't know if it's that they're trying to um since it is more of a business center kind of hotel if they're trying to keep that vibe like maybe they don't want you know families with young kids kind of like running around you know maybe causing more noise than they want I don't know if that's the case or not it's pure speculation yeah. and you know what there's there's times when you may want that and that's okay there's definitely times when I want to be in more of a quiet setting than a you know than in the middle of the theme park right next to Hulk and ah you know, all that kind of thing. So that is completely okay to have kind of that more serenity or kind of business casual kind of vibe. It's just something to consider if, you know, if you are a family with young kids or just your personality in general tends to be more, ah, you know, you want to be able to be comfortable and be yourself. And I think if that's what you're looking for, there's better options from Definitely. from universal yeah, yeah they hotel. needed this kind of thing to complete their portfolio to me i i worked at disney for almost five years and i worked mm -hmm. at coronado springs resort which was the convention and business resort mm -hmm. and it's it Coronado was definitely, it has a different vibe than any other Disney resort you'll go to. It has kind of that more businessy vibe. Everything's not really all fun and games. This was definitely in that realm, but Universal kind of needed that type of property to complete their portfolio. So it definitely yeah. made sense to them. So just some other quick things. Unfortunately, like we said, we couldn't see everything. They do have an arcade and a fitness center on the second floor we couldn't get to. Right. We couldn't get to the rooftop bar. So we couldn't actually see any of the views. Now, I have we've seen pictures. We've seen videos. You can easily find those online that do show the views. And it, it is spectacular. Yes. I will say some of the rooms, and I'm sure they've got it tiered and priced out differently, that I don't think you're going to have that great of a view because it was pointed like right at the Cabana Bay Towers. Yeah. So you, if you, unless you were high up, you wouldn't be able to see Volcano Bay or, or anything like that. So you would just mm -hmm. want to make sure that you 
get in the right room. If you're going for a view, which is definitely the biggest thing this resort is offering, make sure you get the room you want. Right. Because otherwise I think you could be disappointed. Get a high floor. There really seemed like Universal realized they had this little bit of land left over. <laughs> and if they built a very tall tower on it with a small footprint, they could have this offering. And it makes sense. What they did with it was good. Having said that, I think that that small footprint kind of takes away from some of the typical amenities you would find. Now, they did have a store, a gift shop. I thought it was nice. It was pretty good size. You guys yeah. saw it on the video. I will say it felt like half of it was Harry Potter. Yeah. Which I know is the big thing, yeah. but still, like, <laughs> it was so much was Harry Potter. I think that's, like, the merch that gets bought the most. Yeah. So it's like, okay, well, I get it. this is the most popular. Wow. And I didn't notice um, as many, like, Aventura branded things. Yeah. Like, when you go to Cabana Bay, you see all that stuff. Or if you go to Hard Rock, they have the musical thing. Right. It didn't really, I didn't notice as much of that. I think there was some, but not a lot. And then the pool was, like, oof. I mean, it was nice because it's brand new. Yeah. It looked clean. It was... If you needed a quick dip, you saw it on the video. It's just like a crescent moon and that's it. yeah it had a it had a spa or a um hot tub yeah. thing and it has like a a changing room outside yep. where you can um you know change from your clothes to your swimsuit and things like that the coolest thing though over by the pool that i thought um i had to get a little tutorial on it because i didn't understand it so if you go to the bar outside by the pool they have this um, charging station for your phones, and it's like where you take out something that kind of looks like an like an iPhone or looks like an external charger, and um, and then there's a slot. So I'm like, what do you do? Do you just put your phone in here? <laughs> but that's not how it works. This nice lady um, who was working showed me it. It's a um, it's an external charger, and it has a little cord that pops out, and then you pop it in your phone. And all you do is completely free to to borrow it if you're out by the pool or something. You just um, give them your room key, and they hold on to it. And then when you return the charger, they give you back your room key. So I thought that was once again, it's a smart idea for this business kind of crowd. I mean, it's great if you're just lounging by the pool and stuff too, but Let's say you're outside and you're enjoying the nice day and you're working, you're trying to get something done, and your phone dies. You don't want to have to go up to your room, charge it. and So it's just right there for you to take care of. And I thought that was a really nifty little thing. Yeah, and it plays into the tech that we were talking yeah. about. We didn't get to go into any of the rooms, of course, because we weren't staying there, but we've seen pictures and videos. They have like an iPad inside the room, a tablet that runs everything, the lights. There's Netflix. You can order food on it. You know, I think they have like those Dyson type fans that are bladeless and blow air through it. So it's all really just tech centric. Yeah. Um, but having said that, that that was kind of the, the sell. If, if you're going for a view, if you're going for business or you just like modern tech and quiet and you're not looking for a ton of amenities, then this one could be for you. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, there might be a, a better, better choice because I, I just know personally I would rather pay less and stay at Cabana Bay or maybe even consider paying a little bit more and staying at Sapphire Falls. That's just personal. A lot of that is taste. Cabana Bay is exactly up our alley. We love Florida retro, that kind of thing, yeah. 50s style. So just something to consider. Um, we, Like we said, we couldn't see everything because we weren't staying there and the elevators don't work. But I think we kind of covered everything. One other thing I'll mention, another consideration – they did have a rec area you saw in the video where there was like an outdoor pool table and ping pong, I think, uh, foosball. Mm -hmm. I think that was it. Connect Four, the giant one. Oh, right. But yeah. the thing that stood out for me is like the smoking area was <laughs> right there. Yeah. It was like the same. <laughs> like the smoking area is the rec area, which if, if you smoke, that's fine. We don't know. I don't have a problem with that. Okay. We don't have a problem with that. But people who are going with children who are most likely going to be using those rec facilities might not want them playing in the smoking area. So it just kind of seemed like a poor design choice there on uh, Universal's part. And just another thing to keep in mind. Right. But other than that, I think that kind of just covers it. So again, just a quick roundup. Modern, sleek, new, clean, tech, business, and views. If those words describe what you're looking for, then Aventura could be the choice for yeah. you. If you're looking more for, a, I would say, a family-friendly option, yeah. more dining options, more amenities, uh, better theming. This was very, I wouldn't say better theming, just different theming. 
This was more bland, in my opinion. You know, we like color and exciting things. There's other options that yeah. are better for you. But if, if you're looking for something, and, and at least this one is priced, at, you know, second lowest yeah. of Universal's current hotels. They will have Endless Summer opening in the next few years, and I think that one's actually going to become cheapest, even cheaper than Cabana Bay. But as this stands right now, Aventura is the second lowest priced. So, any other thoughts? I think we covered it. That's it for now then. Yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully we were able to show you some of the just general areas of the Aventura Hotel. If you've stayed there, you want to let us know something about it, we'd love to hear from yes, you. If you want to sure. leave a comment or something like that here on the video, find us on Facebook, send us an email. We're going to put up our contact information here in just a second for you to view. And feel free to reach out with us. Any questions, comments, concerns, we'd love to hear from you. And for now, that's it. Hopefully you enjoy and happy travels. Happy travels.